Today on Paul's Old Crap, we're going to play a game called Sim Tower. This is a uh, tower building game uh, released under Maxis. And uh, but I don't remember exactly when it came out. I think we'll uh, dive into the about box uh, when we open the game. But I do remember playing this uh, early on in my Mac days on my Macintosh 2 SI. I think sometime in like the mid 90s so uh, yeah the game's been around for a while and uh, what I've got going on right now is uh, my Macintosh LC 475 uh, we're using to play the game so let's open it up Our nice 3D rendering uh, startup uh, display here, and it looks like uh, copyright 1994. So, yeah, mid 90s. Um, all right, first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to uh, New Tower. And I'm just going to pause the game so we can go through the menu options here. Uh, if we go to About Sim Tower. Uh, this version here is uh, apparently version 1.1. I don't really know what the differences are between any of the uh, other versions of Sim Tower, so yeah. Uh, but anyway, the uh, game was originally called Tower um, from some other people in Japan. Uh, I actually saw a copy of the original one on eBay recently and uh, was uh, kind of interested in uh, picking that up, but I did not. Um, I think they pretty much look uh, quite similar. They had screenshots of the Tower game compared to Sim Tower. Um, I don't know, someday I'd like to check that out, but yeah. Anyway, this is obviously the Maxis version of the game. Um, so yeah, a bunch of uh, credits. That's nice. Let's take a look at the menus. Nothing really uh, overly interested in the file menu there. Edit, doesn't matter. Options. Um, what we're going to do is I'm going to leave these as the defaults for now. Uh, I will be making a change later on in the game. Um, I will be disabling the elevator sound because it'll get kind of repetitive and uh, yeah, it's kind of annoying. But we'll leave it on there for now so you can actually hear what it sounds like as we start building. Uh, fast mode, I'm going to leave this enabled I think for now. Um, I don't think you really have uh, any need to go to slow mode unless you're trying to, I don't know, edit a bunch of your, uh, uh, I guess, things in your tower before um, the day ends or something like that. Who knows? Um, yeah, and then <laughs> your windows here, finance window. Uh, okay, so this is, I guess, where you can see um, what your income is, maintenance that you're spending. Um, I guess all of your expenses, your population, your income. Now we're just getting started, so none of this really matters. Um, we do start off with this amount of money here, and current population is showing as zero. Um, we do have, we're currently listed as one star. The goal of the game is to reach five stars. Um, now, the uh, these are based on population of your tower. Now, if you were just wanting to get to five stars as fast as possible, uh, I read online that the trick to doing that is to build nothing but fast food restaurants. And okay, you could do that to, you know, technically beat the game, but it kind of seems pointless. It takes all the fun out of it. So we're not going to do that. Um, the gameplay I'm going to show today is kind of like how an average person would probably play this game. So. Yeah. Um, other than that, let's see, find person. I have no idea what the uh, point of these are. We'll take a look at these maybe later on in the game as we start to actually get people in the tower. So, uh, yeah, so basically what we're looking at right here, this is our main uh, window here that we're actually going to be using for building our tower. Uh, so we're going to go way over to the side here, and of course you can quickly move around using this. So what we're going to do is we are now in the game, 
And first thing you need to do is you need to build some lobbies. So we start off with a lobby. If you click and hold down your mouse, uh, this gives you other build options here. So you have lobby, you can build a uh, floor, you can build stairs. So what we're gonna do is start off with lobby. And as you have it selected, it tells you the lobby is $5,000. And that price is like $5,000, I think, per square. So it might be kind of hard to see, but um, where my mouse is moving, there's like a square surrounding it. So like the price is $5,000 per square that I click, I believe. Anyway, what I'm just gonna do is I'm gonna click and I'm gonna drag across the screen so I don't have to just like keep clicking over and over. So watch this. By doing that, it saves you a lot of time because you don't want to sit there and just keep clicking over and over and over again. You click and you drag and it just keeps on building. So we start off with our lobby, which is all nice and good. Uh, we do need to go, well, we could do stairs first, but let's go with an elevator. Um, now, right now, we don't have any other options on our elevator, so you click and hold, nothing happens, you just have an elevator. Um, and actually, one thing to point out is we've basically gone through one day, uh, and yes, yeah, because we're in fast mode. So, as you can see, the background gets darker, it's night. Um, yeah. Now, I don't really know how the time exactly works, because this will... Uh, maybe it's classified as one day. I don't know how fast this skips ahead, but... Anyway, so... When you're building an elevator, uh, it does, I think, have to... Let's see. Now, I guess you can build it any way you want, but I think you want your main uh, elevator... Uh, I don't know what the hell the word I'm looking for, but... Um, you want to kind of, I think, build it at a lobby. So I'm just going to put one right here. So this elevator car will always be the, like, this is the home level for this elevator. Uh, well, for this car, rather. So, um, yeah, it's kind of strange the way this works. Because you can build elevator cars um, in the elevator shaft, and you don't have to put them... At the, at the lobby, you can put them on different floors and the car will always return specifically to that floor. Um, there might be a benefit to doing that, but I think generally when I'm adding cars to the elevator shaft, I always add them to lobby floors because that's typically uh, where people will end up uh, most of the time, especially if you've got your sky lobbies and stuff, but we'll probably go into that further uh, as we play the game. So, okay, look, we've already gone through yet another day, and we've built nothing but the lobby and an elevator. Um, okay, so what you want to probably avoid is putting housing right, um, right above your lobby. Um, what I try to do is I save the first couple floors um, for like business related, uh, business related stuff. So when we're looking at our build um, options here, I'll just move this out of the way. Um, this here, for example, this is a condo, and it tells you the price up here. Um, over here, this is office space. Um, this is basically, so, oh, well, I'll go over the difference here quickly. Um, when you build condos, people purchase the condo. Uh, so it's like a one-time um, sale that you get the money from. And when you're building offices, this is like a monthly rent that you get. So different types of uh, income generated here. Uh, this here, this is our fast food. Um, if you click and hold, nothing happens because this is the only option. So what we're going to do is we're going to build a couple fast food restaurants in here. Come on. I want to make sure this lines up. There we go. And I think what I might do as well is leave the next floor above it um, empty. And I'm going to start building offices higher up. So what I need to do first is I need to actually build a bit of floor. So you can't just like... Um, magically build things on higher levels when the floor below it doesn't exist. So watch here. I'm gonna build some office space. 
and I'm gonna put it right here and that floor needs to be there because if, so if I try to do this right it tells you you can't place items wider than the floor below so because we've got our elevator taking up some of that spot um, I just needed to extend the floor out to here so I can build this so as you'll see um, this will be built kind of behind the actual elevator and that will be no problem Now, unfortunately, on the other side, uh, I need some more floor. So I'll just build out to here, for example. And here you see we've actually got our elevator in use. And you can see the people as they wait for the elevator. And you'll also notice this um, number here is in a different color. Um, that indicates that it is the home floor for one of the cars in the elevator shaft. Um, if I were to build uh, additional cars in this elevator and place them on different floors, uh, those numbers would also light up in this uh, pinkish whatever color. So, yeah, I don't really, uh, I didn't really look up too much about the actual uh, mechanics of the game, so I don't know uh, what the benefits might be because the elevator will go obviously to any of these floors, so it doesn't really matter, but. Uh, anyway, let's build some more offices. Now, I don't remember where the uh, existing office ends. Let's try building it right here. Nope, it's in the way. Let's try building it here. There we go. So, let's put another one in right next to it. Another one. And another one. So this will help us generate revenue. If we take our magnifying glass, oh, actually, while this is happening, uh, if you caught that elevator was actually full of people and it had, uh, when the elevator gets full, you see an F that shows up on there. So let's just see if that happens again. Oh, maybe not. And as people get angry, their, their colors change. So these people are now starting to get like this pink color because they're all pissed off waiting for the elevator. Um, so when you have this happening, then what you want to do is potentially add more elevator cars. Now, right now, the cost of a car is quite a bit of money, so we're not going to do that quite yet. Um, I'm gonna continue playing this game a little bit and I will uh, get to that in a bit. Um, so we take the magnifying glass, we click on one of these, and it tells us that it is occupied, we have a good evaluation, um, and it tells us what the rent currently is. Now you can change this amount of rent. Um, now if you change it to the top one and you don't have enough amenities in your tower, uh, people may not rent it because it's just a waste of money. Um, and of course on kind of that same subject, if you have vacant offices that you can't seem to rent, for various reasons, then you could just lower the price and it might become more appealing. So the uh, the default rent amount though, I think we can just leave it like that for now. Uh, what I want to do though, is I want to get a surge of money. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to build some condos. And we're going to slap one right in here. And I'm actually just going to put another one directly above it. And these are already sold. Well, the first one did, the second one just sold as well. So if we look at this one, um, it is occupied. And because it's already sold, you obviously can't change the price. Um, if this goes vacant, um, then you can change the price to kind of sell it again. So, um, but yeah, that's typically if uh, people are leaving your tower and that's a bad sign. Um, but immediately I do have a lot more money than I did um, a couple seconds ago because you get uh, a lot more money back um, compared to the expense of building the condos. So condos are a pretty good way to generate income fast. So let's go nuts and build some more condos and I'm running out of floor. So... Let's just start building our floor out. And let's build some more office. Nope, don't have enough room on that side for the office. So I'll toss another condo there. Another condo 
there. These are already sold. I'm getting money. And because I have money, let's build another elevator car. So what we do is I just click it. And now we have two cars in the elevator shaft. So this will get our people around faster and they will be happier. And uh, so elevators can only extend 30 floors. So you can't just make this one go all the way up. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's 30 floors for this one. Then you can, you can have express elevators, which I believe are like the 100 floors or something like that. But that's uh, further on in the game. You have to have more stars to get to that point. So what we're going to do is we're just going to get the... Uh, we're going to build the elevator up a little bit here. And every 15 floors, you get to build a lobby. So you have your main lobby on the ground floor. And then when we get up to this point, to floor 15, then you have something called Sky Lobby. And that's basically... Um, when you have lobbies, um, the further up you go in your tower, then you put uh, your amenities, like your food and stuff like that, around lobbies. Uh, you don't really want to build that stuff just like in the middle of a bunch of condos. Um, so I think that kind of hurts the way people get around in your tower or something like that. But anyway, uh, I want to build some more condos. We want to get some money flowing in here. Population is going up. Oh, and now that's okay. So if you're building condos in like the absolute middle of the night, they might not sell until the next morning or something like that. So, um, oh, we have a lot of people on our office floor waiting for the elevator, and they're not really going to be happy about that. Um, in a case like this, I might be tempted to build another elevator car uh, specifically for floor four where the offices are, but. Uh, we're not going to worry about that right now. What I did want to do is... Let's just build... Some more condos. And these are actually selling pretty good, so that's good. I'm going to build some more offices now up here. That's what I'm going to do. There, there, and there. I think it was... where are we? Right there. Now I put these here specifically because I want to uh, actually go and build the sky lobby. So now I have a lobby in the air. And you can't just put lobbies elsewhere. So if I try to put a lobby in here, it tells you lobbies are only every 15 floors. So, yeah. So yeah, basically every 15 floors, um, you want to reserve that specifically for lobbies. And let's take a look. Let's go look at our restaurants here. That doesn't make sense. Hmm. We'll check on that later. But... To prepare for the next workday, I want to have more offices built. Right now you can see that these are empty, um, so these have not been uh, leased out yet because it is the middle of the night. And I'm going to expand our lobby. Um, so when you've already got the existing lobby here, um, I can just like go over here and click and it will auto extend the floor all the way out there. So that's good. Um, I'm going to go and build floor out here because I want some more space so I can put more offices down in here. Come on. 
drop a bunch of condos in here. Basically, I want to try and get my population going up pretty quick. Yeah, no, no, it looks like it's raining. I'm gonna use the magnifying. Actually, let's take a look at her. Oh, we got mad people, and so now we've got a full elevator car, and there's more mad people. So let's put another car in. And that one's full too. Let's put another one in. That one's full. Oh my god, where are these people coming from? It's costing me a lot of money to do that, so I'll just leave that. And if I click the magnifying glass on these people, um, so this pixelated woman is going to the office on the 14th floor and stress level will just increase as she has to wait for the elevator. <laughs> so yeah, now they're changing color. So if we click again, the stress level went up. <laughs> oh no, what am I gonna do? Um, oh yeah, I wanna click on these again. The... Uh, I don't know, it's so strange. Uh, we'll we'll leave that and we'll check on that later. It's bizarre. Anyway. We need some more offices. I can't remember exactly. Um, oh! I was just about to mention that I didn't remember how long it would take to get the next star, and as we just pushed over a population of 300, uh, I'm assuming that means that uh, your, your two-star rating is at population 300. Now they don't take it back in case your population then goes below, so um, when your office people leave, then, you know, your population number will change. Um, so they, they don't take the star back. Um, but anyway, as a result of that, we do have more building options. So we do have the option now for a service elevator, which is used for hotel people. Um, and we actually have a, the option of building hotel rooms. Uh, right now, this is for like single bedrooms. And also you have this maid service, which is required for hotels as well. Um, Nothing new for fast food, nothing new for condos, nothing new for office. I don't think that changes at all. Um, nothing new for the lobby stuff. Um, I've got some serious problems here. Um, I'm starting to uh, run out of capacity for my elevator, I think. I should really build more cars. Um, here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to build a car on fourth floor. And now, it might be hard to see because all these are in the way. That number four is uh, changed color, indicating it's like the home for one of these elevator cars. So, yeah. Anyway, um, let's just see if this one fills up. Because that one's full. I'm going to build another car on that lobby floor. Um, I can't remember exactly the uh, limit to the number of cars in the elevator shaft, so I'm sure we'll hit that soon. Um, Oh yeah, I was going to disable the elevator sound because that will get annoying as you build more elevators. Um, in one of my other towers, which I'll probably show in uh, a little bit, um, there's just elevators all over the place. And then there's of course a limit to the number of elevators you can build, I think. So it gets pretty crazy as you go, uh, as you keep playing this game. Um, oh yeah, I was going to... Uh, Today's patronage, yesterday's profit, minus 300. It still says we're... I don't know why it keeps saying, like, profit is in the negatives if we have so many people, but... Yeah, that's odd. Um, just going to build out some lobby here. Oh, yeah, actually, one thing that... Uh, oh, damn, I didn't do that right. When you're building Sky Lobby, I guess you have to click and drag to build it properly. 
Um, we have the uh, option here to build a security center. This is part of the uh, the benefits of being two star. Um, now these sorts of things, uh, I think generally you're supposed to have them fairly close to the lobbies. So uh, I'm just gonna build it here. So this is something that um, just kind of adds to the uh, benefit of your tower and yeah. I don't know if it really does a whole lot, but it's there now. And what we're going to do is take our elevator up a little bit. Now what I want to do is I'm going to build some hotel rooms. What I'm going to do is I'm going to leave floor 16 available for important things, one of which will be my maid service. So I'm going to put the uh, maid service right in here. And then I'm also going to build the service elevator. So your maids can only reach hotel rooms from service elevator. They don't go into the regular elevator. So because we've got one of the maid services there, I'm going to put an elevator, service, eleva uh, service elevator over here. Um, you can't put them too close to existing elevators, because watch this. It requires more space. So I think if I put it here, it might work. Yeah, there we go. And I'm just going to put it up to that uh, couple floors there, because I'm not going to have a whole bunch of hotel rooms to, uh, to start off with here. Um, go back to this. So we have some hotel rooms. Uh, let's build a few more somewhere back here. Now this is important to note, if you build hotel rooms and you don't have maid service, um, or if you don't have enough of the uh, maid services um, for the number of hotel rooms you build, uh, rooms will remain dirty and they won't be able to, uh, like, they'll eventually just have to be, like, bulldozed if they get bad enough. It's, it's kind of crazy. Um, you'll have, like, a big, uh, like, a bug icon that shows up right across the entire thing. So, yeah, you don't want that to happen. And assuming we get some of these rented out, I'll show you how you can actually check the status of your rooms. And we have some of these rooms being rented as they light up. So that's good. Now let's look at... Ah, elevators are going. Lots of people waiting. Just for fun, I'm going to build an elevator car on the 15th floor. So, because that's also a lobby floor, that might be uh, beneficial. Or maybe not. Um, it hasn't moved yet, and there's people waiting to go places. <laughs> oh, there it goes, that's moved. Um, hmm. Oh yeah, I'm going to build a uh, fast food on this floor as well. Actually, I'm going to just put it over here somewhere. And actually, one thing. Um, you also have a limit to the number of stairs you can build, but stairs might be a good way to like help eliminate um, super amounts of load on your elevators. So if we were to put stairs there, and then put stairs there, and then put stairs there. This allows floors to connect with each other. 
So you you will also encounter problems if you don't have elevators or stairs which connect floors because um, then your people won't be able to actually get to the things you build. Um, so and error messages like that will pop up in this area here. It'll tell you that people on floor something don't have a route to floor something. So you have to keep uh, an eye on that and correct problems like that. Uh, anyway, let's look at the uh, hotel rooms. So you can change the rate and it defaults to this. Um, evaluation is good, it's occupied. We're going to leave it like that. And let's see. Uh, let me click on these again. Okay, so now it says we're doing good profit. Business is very good on this one. Yeah. So I guess it just takes a while for your uh, fast food profits to properly register for some reason. So, yeah, that's fairly interesting. And I think if we can, no, oh, it doesn't fit. I need to build some floor. Actually, extend that out there, and extend that out there. Come on, whoops. Do I have enough room for some condos? Nope. Oh well. So, as we go through the night and we wait for these hotels to clear out. Here we go. So our maids are now going through the service elevator and to clean rooms. If we click hotel, it says we have dirty rooms. We just unpause it. Oh, I guess it pauses every time you uh, go to that mode. So if we wait for all these people to leave their hotels and we click on this thing, um, as, so as the people leave their hotel rooms, the rooms become dirty. So you need to keep an eye on this. Uh, we'll go back to edit. So our maids will go and clean each hotel, uh, like each hotel room throughout, I guess, the morning or whatever. Um, so it's important that you don't end up with any dirty rooms by the time people come back in to, uh, to rent the rooms again. Because then otherwise you get like bug infestations and then like they can go to other rooms and yes, that is all very bad. So as you build hotel rooms, uh, you need to have a service elevator which connects a maid service to the floors where your hotel rooms are. Um, I guess one way to get around that is if you built a maid service on every floor with hotel rooms, but I don't know, that kind of, kind of seems a little silly, so... That is why service elevators are there. So I think we've covered uh, most of the basics of the game. Um, it would take far too long, I think, for me to keep playing and reach higher stars. So, oh look, we've got people walking up and down our stairs. That's kind of neat. Anyway. We're not going to save. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to load a tower I was building before. It's called Tower of Crap. I never made this one to five stars, unfortunately, but <laughs> I filled the entire screen and like I, I can't build anymore. I think I've reached the limit of everything here, but I wanted to do this so I could show you um, just how crazy this stuff eventually gets. So like I've built way out to the sides of the screen. Um, yeah, I've got my main elevator and then I've got my giant express elevators. Express elevators don't stop on each floor. Um, they only stop, I think, on lobbies. So you'll see it goes to 15. And then as we go up here, it goes to 30. So yeah, this is pretty crazy. And I've, I've like elevators all over the place. So it's, uh, I don't. I tried to kind of come up with some strategy for this. So I've got my main express elevators that show up in blue, um, kind of like 
equally placed throughout my tower. Um, then I've got my hotel areas where I've got my service elevators. Um, the service elevators show up in red, so I have two service elevators. Um, then I've got my other elevators. Uh, when you place these, um, you have to kind of try and get this overlap. So otherwise you'll have people who can't get to certain floors and such. So yeah, I, I just kept building and building and building and I still have, you know, I still do have some room left um, in here and I can, it's possible I can make this reach a uh, population of 15,000, but um, yeah, I uh, only made this tower up to four stars and uh, yeah, I just wanted to open this up to show the all the crazy options you get. So like, there's cars down here. It's because you have a parking garage and you have to be careful with how you build this as well. Um, because then you can have like a metro station or whatever this is. Uh, let's click the thing here. Okay, yes, metro station. Um, when you build the metro station, it then builds this uh, tube thing across the bottom of your screen. And I didn't really think about this at the time, but I probably should have built this a little lower so I would have more room available to build more of my garbage centers and to have more room for my parking garage. Because, look, look, see here, office workers demand parking. So I've pretty much, like, I'm running out of parking and I can't build any lower than the metro station thing. So that's something I didn't really uh, consider uh, when I built it. So, yeah, it's, it's one of the many things you, you just need to be aware of. And Oh yeah, when you build down in the underground, you have to extend your elevators down. Um, and when you extend your elevators down, that also removes um, the number of floors from the top of it. So this elevator, or I think that's how it works, because if we go up here, yeah, so this elevator here goes down to basement one and basement two, but at the top, it only made it up to floor 28. It didn't make it up to floor 30 because we lose that extra two floors because these types of elevators only go up like 30 floors. Yeah, that's in total. So. It's, there is some uh, thought process that you have to use when you're planning out your tower. Um, otherwise, you might screw things up a little bit. But yeah, this is a, it's a, very, it's a fairly fun game. Um, this tower, I don't even want to think uh, how long I spent building this tower. Um, but like, I've pretty much maxed everything out. Um, this is like, I got tons of money. So I, I filled like every elevator I think has the maximum number of elevator cars in there and yeah, it was uh, it's pretty crazy. So, oh yeah, and yeah, you get like, you can build a health center. So you got your security, your health center. Uh, this is your parking thing. Uh, oh, so this is like the garage, kind of like the garage door, then your parking spots, then your recycling garbage center thing and your metro station uh, nothing new for offices nothing new for condos um, so fast food then you get uh, full restaurants then you have stores cinema um, party hall um, for hotels you have one bedroom two bedroom suites and then of course your maid service your elevators you have the regular the service and the express ones uh, for lobbies you get the floors, the stairs, and you also get escalators too. Um, and I think when you reach five stars, I think the only additional thing you get is like some sort of cathedral or something that you put on the hundredth floor uh, or something like that. It's been so long, I don't remember. Um, so, yeah, I don't know. Well, I think this pretty much wraps it up. Um, yeah, like you can spend hours and hours and hours playing this game um, to reach as far as I did in this tower. So, 
I don't know. I think it's uh, kind of addicting because uh, you're in a race to see uh, how many people you can shove into your tower and reach five stars. So pretty neat. I might as well go ahead and uh, I'm not gonna save. Yeah, so it's uh, it's a game that I uh, I've really enjoyed over the years. Um, yeah, I don't think there's anything uh, else left to say. Thanks for watching.